My name is Ezekiel Heater Wegscheider, as you just heard. And today, I'm going to be talking about fractals, how this relates to the concept of infinite infinity, simultaneous opposites, and how integrating these things into our perspectives can help to free us up to learn more, understand more, and bring more positivity into our lives. And I want you all to know that this talk is a seed, so it is up to you where and if to plant it and what to fertilize it with. So, in short, a fractal is self-similar repeating geometry, meaning that the smaller parts of the shape are similar to or the same as the larger parts. And with the more complex fractals, it almost appears as if there are giant structures curled up into one another. Fractals are common in nature and can be seen in things all the way from trees and clouds to our arteries and lungs, as well as many other things. So, now I'm going to get into one of the more complex fractals called the Mandelbrot set. The Mandelbrot set can be 2D or 3D and is created by a process called iteration, which means that you take the product of your last equation and plug it back into the beginning of your next equation. Now this can be done an infinite amount of times, giving you a shape that has both infinite and finite parts. <clears throat> so now if we begin to explore the shape, we find that first of all, there are many different parts that escape into infinity. And second, we realize that there are an infinite amount of parts that are infinite. So this is like infinity multiplied by itself. Infinity squared. An infinite amount of infinity. The more infinite parts that you look at, the more you find. So this is like an infinite tree with an infinite amount of branches, and all those branches are their own infinite tree with an infinite amount of branches on them, and so on and on, and you could say the word infinite an infinite amount of times to describe the shape, yet its entirety can fit on a thumbnail size photo on your computer screen. So, wow, this has a lot of astounding implications. <laughs> Uh, if there exists an infinite amount of infinity, then this opens up a whole new field of what our minds and the universe could contain. It could contain anything. It could contain everything, every imaginable possibility, or even some things that are beyond everything. For the concept of infinite infinity itself already way exceeds what any of us could possibly perceive of as everything. Since we know that infinity can exist in the finite, this means that we could be looking at an infinite number of universes, just like ours, all the time, and all those universes could be infinite themselves. Anyway, so scientists and... <laughs> Scientists and physicists can't totally agree on a unified theory. And religions and spiritual teachings can't totally agree with all the other religions and spiritual teachings. And science and spiritual teachings can't totally agree with each other either. So maybe the answer is that all perceived truths, experiences, thought processes, and beliefs could all work together could all be just as real and true and valid as each other. Maybe like what Fractal teaches us, the two most opposite things that you could possibly imagine could be just as real and valid as each other. Maybe anything and everything exists, but we are just living in an orderly little slice of reality that is partially shaped by our personal perspective and partially shaped by the collective perspective. And we are living both separate from this infinite infinity, yet still a part of it, directly connected to it, and that infinity lives both outside us and within us. And I believe that using 
this broadened perspective will help us in our ups and our downs, our relationships and in all of our learning. For we are constantly learning and taking in information, but we filter out much of it and deem much of it invalid, nonsensical, or just plain wrong. So, if we learn to validate all information, we allow ourselves to take more in, make new connections, and maybe even expand the lens of our filter in a healthy way. And at the same time, we can begin to trust our own capabilities and potential through this. But we don't have to change our beliefs and perspectives if they are working well for us. But we can understand that there is always more. And we can begin to consciously choose our perspectives and understand that although other people's reasoning and beliefs may be different, they are just as true and real for them as yours are for you. And we can ease our way to a place of larger understanding, non-judgment, and harmonization that transcends our differences and blockages, both the ones between us and the ones within us. And we can realize that our limits don't have to hold back our unlimitedness. And we can use this to create a fractal of positivity that leads to positivity and so on and on for the good of all. So, I encourage you all to ponder these things <laughs> and find ways that these concepts can help you achieve your goals and help you and those around you best. So, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Bless you.